Hey everyone, Eric Hale, the Sauce Man here, with my final sauce of the trifecta from Corolla, and it is the bitch ass sauce. So I am eager to try this out. It came later than the other two, so. The other two were amazing, so I'm sure this one's going to be amazing, too. He said he created this one with less heat, hence the name. But I'm sure it's filled with flavor, so I'm eager to try it out. Oh, that was, smells amazing. Mm, all right. Has a smokier, smoky kind of aroma to it. Let's see. Not too thick, but like ketchup, I guess you could say. Nice consistency. Smells good. See. That's an amazing flavor. I can't, I can't figure out what the ingredients are, but it does have kind of a Cajun flavor to it. It's not that spicy, not spicy, but it has a smoky flavor. It's really good. This is a really good sauce. What I'm going to put it on. Hmm. It's got a Creole kind of flavoring to it. I can't put my finger on it with the ingredients, but similar to like a jambalaya flavoring. It is really good. And it has it has no heat that I that I can <clears throat> discern, but man, it does taste good though. So I don't think this will last too long. I will probably make some jambalaya or something, and then use this in there for flavoring. So yeah, if you have a chance to pick some of this up, I know you didn't make too many bottles of it. It tastes amazing. If you like Creole food, this would be great. I mean, it'd probably be good or anything else too, but man, with some shrimp or anything like that, this would be amazing. So, Randy, great job. And uh, I look forward to seeing more of your creations. So, without further ado, that was Bitch S Sauce from Randy Corolla. And uh, until next time, stay spicy, my friends.